Good morning. I'm here at Secret Garage Sale. There's Sale Sun. That's a truck. That's Mount Scuba. Right there. And we are on a mission today to rescue my skyline. Okay, we made it to Ebisu Circuit. Unfortunately, as you can hear in the background, there's bikes riding on the course. So normally you can drive over the course through a gate up there, but today uh, there's just this tunnel. And the truck won't fit through the tunnel, so we have to walk there. And we're parked next to this creepy forest. Look. Okay, this gets pretty deep from what I remember. <laughs> you know, the pits are full of high aces, that means it's uh, bikes. Alright, we're back. Now, I don't have a booster pack. And as you saw, we can't bring the truck down here right now, so... I hope this car, which has been here since November last year, will start. Alright, this will make my day a lot easier if you start. So please just start. Starts up straight away. That's why I love this car. I forgot to check before I. Okay, so there's no birds left. We're okay. I was a bit worried about that. I gotta get this loaded before it starts raining. While we wait for sale, son, let's talk about this car and how it ended up here in Ebisu. I originally bought the car back in 2011 as a cheap way to do lots and lots of practice at Ebisu Circuit. And that I did, on some days like this, doing hundreds of laps. It took a lot of abuse, snow drifting, rally driving, and of course, crashing into other people. I did bring it down to Tokyo one time for an event at Sportsland Okigawa, which I thought would be a bit too hectic for my JZX100 daily driver. But it otherwise spends its time going hard at Ebisu Matsuri or open practice days. There have been replicas of the car made in Poland, the USA, RC replicas, video game replicas, fan art, fan art, concept art, official merch only sold at Ebisu, and people even send me photos of themselves next to it like it's a tourist attraction. It's been a great car to drive, but when the turbo blew at last year's Automatsuri, I knew it was time to bring it back to Tokyo and take it to the next level. Ooh. Good to go. So the Beacon Skyline has lived here at Ebisu for almost as long as I've owned it. And it's been great, but it's about time we took it back to Seo Sun's workshop and gave it a bit of an image change and a lot of maintenance. Driver-san, It's the Nissan factory in Tochigi, and they're closed today. So I'm just going to be cheeky and get a photo in front of the factory. Here, look. Here we go. Nissan. In front of Nissan. So this car may have been made here. I don't know. I could check, but, you know, we were driving past it, so I thought I'd just stop here anyway. So that's the Nissan factory all the way in there. All the way back. You can just see, like, the roof of it in there. And that's, like, the... I've been here before, they do a factory tour, that's where they do the factory tour from over there. Nissan, I apologize, but this was too good a chance. <laughs> He's, he wanted me to pose for a photo. It's so hot. We need some lunch, something cool for lunch. 
All right, we came to a ramen shop for lunch. And because it's hot today, we're getting this. It's uh, dipping ramen. So instead of the noodles being in the bowl already, they're separate and they're kind of, they're cooled down. So it's not quite as hot as a normal ramen. Good? Sure. Good. There's one more place we needed to come. It was sort of on the way and I thought it'd be stupid not to stop here. We need to get a photo in front of the Asahi Brewery. That's it here. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, that's a brewery. There it is, okay. <laughs> so for those of you, I don't want the guy at the gate to yell at me. So for those of you who don't know, this is one of the best selling beers in Japan, Asahi. Alright, this is it here. That is what I based the logo on the door on. Because it kind of looks like a can of beer, right? Super dry Asahi. That's Super Drift Alexi. Okay, let's go before we get yelled at. Victor! <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> the reason we stopped here is because, you know, we saw the Nissan factory on the way here before. And Seo-san was like, oh, we should stop at the Asahi factory too. So, and it, it's sort of on the way. It's a bit out of the way, but, you know, look, this is... Oh, that's Suntory. <laughs> This is probably the last time you're going to see this car with this livery on it. So I thought, oh, why not? And there is actually a really big Asahi brewery right near Ebisu Circuit. One time I saw a guy walk up to the, the skyline taking photos of it laughing. I said, oh, you like it? He goes, yeah, I work at the factory. I'm going to show this to the people there. Let's go some of this stuff. Oh, the heat just makes everything twice as bad. But we're back. The furthest the Skyline has been from Ebisu for uh, however long I said before in that compilation. Like, that's how long this has been at Ebisu. I think it looks pretty good for being there that long, to be honest. And this is disgusting, but we'll see what we can do about this. If you're wondering why I asked Seo san to look after the 32, Here's his 32. If you're new to the channel, you haven't seen this car yet, here's a reminder. Hey, what's the name of the NHR? What's the NHR? Why? He wanted to run the Long Champs. Yeah, that little clip with the uh, because I wanted Long Champs seemed to be quite popular with a lot of people. I love Long Champs. You love Long Champs? I love. Yes. <laughs> and here's the engine. Same as you saw in the last video. 2.2 uh, liter RB20 with a bunch of RB26 stuff on the top. So it looks like a fancier engine than it is, but it goes good. Uh, here is a 32 that Seo Sun has built for a customer. Yeah, that, that sounds better than mine already. I oh, like his. Uh, light up shift knob and purple interior also this purple is Seo Sun's signature color so it's gonna have to appear on the skyline somewhere <laughs> yeah this color here it says here RB if you look at this symbol it looks like the Japanese symbol for inochi or like life force so, you know, this is uh, RB is life. So even with an almost normal engine and a RB25 turbo, so it's slightly bigger, and that exhaust manifold, it sounds way better than mine, even with just those mods. Yeah, that's how it should sound. 
this is another one that he's building for a customer. Apparently the customer wanted to buy that one, but he said, I don't want to sell it. So he said, well, I'll make you a replica. Oh look, it's, it's like mine, it's missing the light on that side. This is the engine that's going in it. It's an RB20, but it's got the RB26 covers on it. Tomei cam gears, and these have been painted to the pulleys. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the little adventure going up to Ebisu, picking up the Skyline and bringing it here to Secret Garage Seo. That's the shop sign. I've got to be honest, I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into how I want this car to turn out. I think I have to come back here one day, sit down, have a bit of a look at it and talk with Seo son a bit more about it. Because we talked a lot in the truck today, but we're going to paint it purple somewhere, at least. Somewhere purple? I don't know. Somewhere. It's going to be purple somewhere because that's his color. So if you'd like to see more of this car, make sure you hit subscribe. And here is a playlist of all the beer cam videos so far and some other videos you might enjoy. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah, that is